see the men doing on the four corners of the earth. Yeah, everybody ain't agreeing with it. Because it's sitting there as a spirit of judgment to them because they sit in judgment, man. They don't want this. They not letting this word heal them and correct them. So it's going to judge. But it's going to sit for correction. Like like uh, 2 Timothy say, man. All scripture is profitable for reproof, for correction, and for rebuke. That the man of the Lord may be thoroughly furnished to the per to the to the perfect will of the most high, man. Basically paraphrasing it, man. Go ahead, huh? Ezekiel 39, verse 22. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord their God from the day from that day and forward. Right. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. Right, man. That's why we went in captivity, man. So if you end up in a place, how you gonna get out of it? You got to figure out how you got there and correct it, man. The scriptures tell us, man. So that's what Levitation's talking about. That's what all the prophets are talking about, man. It's all about turning back the captivity of these people, man. And that's why when Judd came and Zacharias was prophesying, we go, Judd don't give us that knowledge of salvation. Shall be saved from the hand of our enemies and all that hate us, that we may serve the most high without fear. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. Right. Because they transgressed against me. Right. Therefore hid I my faith from them. Right. And gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. Right, so that's why we went into captivity, man. They had nothing to do with the street of the so-called white man. Our rock gave us up. Okay. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them. So this why the, the so-called Native American Indians, the uh, so-called Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, the Dominicans. This why everybody on the side, man. Basically the Latinos, Hispanics, Native American Indians, the so-called Negro descent went in captivity, man. That's why we came in slave ships from the east side of the world to the west side. And why the, why the, why the Native Americans, the Hispanic Latino went from this side of the world to that side of the world in the captivity. And then those who didn't go to that side of the world and stay here. That's why we all ended up in captivity in America. Because of our iniquity, man. Go ahead, huh? And hear my face from them. Right. Therefore, thus says the Lord. Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob. Right. And have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. Right, man. So the Lord eventually going to have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. Go ahead. And will be jealous for my holy name. That's why Paul said, and thus all Israel shall be saved. Go ahead, bro. After that, they have borne their shame. Well, and see, I the Lord made us bear. We had to bear our shame, man. But like the scripture say in John, it is the good Lord's pleasure and will to give us the kingdom, man. But we had to bear our shame, man. It's like you got kids, you keep telling them and telling them, and they don't listen, they don't listen. You got to teach them, man. You got to show them tough love, man. You going to make them bear their shame. Don't call me for nothing. You don't want to listen to me. You don't want to get in line. I done gave you all each child had mercy, mercy, mercy. Now you going to feel the wrath. But I ain't going to give you the rap until it destroy you. Just going to make you bury your shame until you learn your lesson. Until you see what I was talking about, man. Go ahead, huh? After that, they have borne their shame and all their trans transpasses whereby they have transgressed against me. Right. When they dwell safely in their land and none made them afraid. Huh. When I brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemy's land. And am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Right. So this is what the this is what the coming of the Lord is all about, man. This is the day of the day of the Lord is all about, man. Him sanctifying the nation of Israel, man. Him turning back the captivity of the, who they consider a minority on the earth. This is what the day of the coming of the Lord is all about. And the white man knowing that. So that's why you don't hear the church talking about it now. Because they have they listening to him, man. The churches don't even talk about the coming of the Lord no more, man. Because like you said, this hell have sweeping away, this hell sweeping away the lies, man. And now when you talk about salvation, when we go to the scriptures, Matthew 15 and 24, man. 
I come only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Acts 5 and 31. He died and be a savior and give repentance to Israel, man. Go ahead, huh? Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God. Right. Which then, then these people gonna know, man. Then every then all these people gonna know, man. Right now only one third knowing it, man. Go ahead. Which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. Which caused us to be led into captivity among the heathen, man. Now ask yourself, who in the captivity among the heathen, man? The Japanese ain't in the captivity. The Chinese man ain't in captivity. The Arab ain't in captivity. The Africans ain't in captivity to the heathen. They still in their own land, man. They come over here freely and get loans, tax free, and all that, man. And set up in your neighborhood and get rich, man. So who in the captivity, man? That's the next thing you ask yourself. The people on the sand. Go ahead, huh? But I have gathered them unto their own land. That's why I say precept upon precept, land upon land, here a little, there a little. Go ahead. And have left none of them any more there. Right. Neither would I hide my face any more from them. I, I bet you would know one thing. If you're a so-called Negro, that you came over here on slave ships. So if you're a Negro, that ought to trickle in your mind right now. And the, and the Latinos, and the Hispanics, and the Native Americans, they know their history. They know what this man done to them, man. They, this was their land, man. They in captivity now, man. What, what's the reservation? Somewhere you reserved, you, they reserved you to a spot, man. They said, this yours. The rest of this man, man. They put you, reserved you, man. Go ahead, bro. For I have poured out my spirit. See, that boy, boy practicing there all you can, man. Lord, give us that spiritual power, man. Go ahead, bro. See this word, hey. Hey, man, go ahead. I'm just going to keep bringing out the word, man, until eventually it's going to turn into that power, man. It's going to fill our people. They're going to be filled with that spirit, man. It's going to snap. It's going to snap like a switch, man. Lord, we we'll endure when we out here preaching, man. We out here teaching, man. Go ahead, huh? Neither will I hide my face anymore from them. Right. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel. See, the Lord ain't hiding his face from us no more, man. The sky ain't prayers no more, man. The Lord hearing our prayers, man. Go ahead, huh? Say if you have a power. Now cut your fucking neck off. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. See, all that bottled up anger Jake got, man. The Lord gonna turn that switch on, and, and, and they gonna turn it. They gonna turn it on. They gonna turn it on you, damn devils, man. Get ready, man. But like I say, he, he is now. But the Lord gonna turn it for in, in the day of thy power. Thy people gonna be willing, man. Let's go. The Lord gonna turn that to the right to him into his right man. He turn that switch. Right. And he gonna use all that energy when it's time against the so-called white man, man. He gonna use that energy. Okay, well it's all good. Go ahead, huh? Yeah, it's we you believe in the Bible? Yeah, Go ahead, huh? Go ahead, bro. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 16. That day shall eat them be like unto women, and they shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the land of your hour of hope. Yeah, finish it, huh? It's a lot. I see our people, see just like just like we just going into it, man. The Lord gonna turn that switch on though, man, in one day. See our people don't understand. A lot of our people don't understand right now, man. Everybody got their time to wake up, man. That brother there, he got a lot of bottled up energy, man. And the Lord, hey, Lord will the Lord use him to let it loose against you crackers, man. But if he not use him to get destroyed, it is what it is, man. Go ahead, bro. But that's why we out here preaching this word, man. This word will go to the four corners, and it's going to seal up the elect, man. Go ahead, bro. So that brother can be lost now, and he can hit the Lord can click his mind in the, the truth of a moment, man. Go ahead, bro. See, he just thinking, we, we got this own concept. It, it's so-called white. We're against the white man, man. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah 59, verse 1. Behold, the Lord hand is not short that it cannot say right so the lord been watching us the whole time his hand ain't short that he could save us 
he, that's the same arm that put us into captivity, man. Go ahead. And he going to use that same arm to deliver us, man. You have a sack, which is his right hand, which is his arm. Go ahead. Nigga, his ear heavy that he cannot hear. Right. Go ahead. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power. That's the end of that verse. Go ahead. And your sins have hid his face from you. So it says his ears ain't stopped up that he can't hear. Go ahead. That he will not hear. Right, man. So the Lord, um, he fit he eating that. He hearing the cries of the so-called Negro, Hispanic, Latino, and Native American Indian man. He hearing our cries now, man. So his ears ain't stopped up now, man. Go ahead. Huh. It's Isaiah chapter 42. I'm going to start at verse 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Hold it up. Hold it. Get that up. What, 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 verse, what verse 4 say? I would you in verse 4. Because, see, I want to, we better get the point of where, the way it said the Lord here is going to stop up, so it's still like going on there. I will get that precept. Then we're going to go back to the end of that. It's leading up to where he's going to go into. The precept of your hand of the fire of the blood. Keep reading it. All right, this is Isaiah 59 and 3. For your hands are defiled with blood. Right. And your fingers with iniquity. Our hands defiled with blood, man. And our fingers with iniquity, man. We've been, we've been going out badly, man. We have done things worthy of death, man. But it's by the grace and the mercy of the Lord that we still here. Go ahead. That's why the scripture says our righteousness is filthy rags. Come. Your lips have spoken lies. Right. I lips spoken lies, man. Go ahead. Your tongues with muted perverseness. Right. It's going to the to the people on the side. Go ahead. None calling for just a justice. But justice being called for that, man, by the elect men on the four corners of the earth, man. Go ahead. Nor any pleading for truth. Nor any pleading for truth. Go ahead. They trust in vanity. Right. And speak in lies. Come. They conceive mischief and bring it forth iniquity. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity, man. Saying everybody can make it that, man. Saying forgive the so-called white man. He don't got to pay for what he did, man. Go ahead. They hatch cartridge eggs and weave the spider's web. Come. He that eateth of their eggs died. Right. He that eateth of their eggs died. Why? Because what does Baruch 4 say? This is the book of life and the, and the law that it do it forever. He that keep it, it shall come to life. He that go away from it shall die. Spiritual death leads to physical death. Get that now. Huh? That's the end of that verse. And that which is crushed, break it out into a viper. That which is crushed, break it out into a viper, man. What did you, what you have, Shakal? Them um, wicked Pharisees and said they a generation of vipers, man. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 17. chapter 19 verse 14 the hour has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof right so now the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in this place man that's why you see so many homosexuals lesbians man a bunch of lies man perversion man transgenders 30 year old men somebody want to be 5 year old children now man Edomites man the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in this place go ahead huh? And they have called Egypt to err in every work thereof. Now Egypt have erred in every work thereof. Go ahead. As a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Right. Go ahead. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Right. So this, hey, neither should there be any work for Egypt. I think they just said 700,000 uh, 700, people going to lose their job, man. Why you think Trump trying to make America great again, man? He trying to make work for Egypt, but it ain't. The scripture said it ain't gonna be no work for Egypt, man. Go ahead. Which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. Which get get on, get Ecclesiastes 12 real quick. Right? Hold it right here. 
Please ask Steve. That's the end of their verse. Finish that verse there. Read it again, bro. Neither shall there be any work to eat. Right. Which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. See? So eventually, it ain't going to be no work for nobody, man. Whether you the garbage man or whether you a big time lawyer, a millionaire, billionaire, it ain't going to be no work for nobody, for the head or the tail, man. Go ahead. See, the law is going to even the playing field. It's going to be all about your, it's going to be all about your wisdom and knowledge going to be stability of your time in, man. Go ahead. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and there shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Yahweh so, of hope. How the Lord shaking over it. How the Lord shaking his hand, man. Through his men, man. What Isaiah 13 say, man? Shake the hand. Go into the gates of the noble, man. Set up a standard on the high mountain. Go into the gates of the noble. Shake the hand, man. So the men on the Lord are shaking the hand, man. And the Lord going, he going to start, he going to shake, he shaking his hand now by using us. But then he going to shake his hand, man. There it go. Um, that's the end of that verse. Go ahead, huh? We're going to start at the top. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. So remember the creator in it why you still got time, man. Go ahead. While the, while the evil days come not. Before all this destruction come, man. This is what we telling our people. Go ahead. Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right, man. Because that's what like a lot of our people like to do too, man. They like to live it up, man. Then when they get old, now they want to turn to the Lord, man. Ah, man, you serious about the Lord? You, 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 you gonna, you gonna, you gonna start to do it, man, at a younger age, man. Go ahead. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened. Right, and that's the twofold scripture that I also going to, like it said, before the evil days come near, man. Go ahead. Why well, say? Why do read that again? Now? While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not dark. Right, man. Go ahead. Nor the clouds return after the rain. Nor the clouds return after the rain. Go ahead. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Right. And the strong man shall bow themselves. See, it's going to be too late then, man. You're supposed to be getting the wisdom and knowledge now, man. You're going to be like, you're going to be that foolish version when that happens, man. You're going to be in that stead, man. Go ahead. The grinders cease because they are few. See, the grinders cease because they are few, man. So we're going to put precept upon precept, land upon land, man. It's King Solomon wrote Ecclesiastes, man. We had the prophet Isaiah wrote Isaiah, man. And they seen the same business, man. Go ahead. And those that look out of the windows be dark. Those that look out of the windows be dark, man. What are you looking out the windows for your fruit? Everybody's starting to see, man. Ain't no fruit in this place. Ain't no future, man. Ain't no future in my own. Um, ain't no future in my field I went to college for. Let me just go find a job just to feed my family to make it, man. Go ahead, bro. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. See, you say the door's gonna be shut in the streets, man. But just like you see everybody, it got John, downtown Jackson, all this gonna cease. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. That's why the music ain't nothing in America no more, man. All the prophets is fulfilling itself, man. Ain't no real music in this place no more, man. You wanna hear real music? You gotta listen to it. Music 20 years ago, man. Ain't no real music no more. So all the daughters of music being brought low, man. All the prophecies of this book coming to pass, man. It ain't nothing nobody gonna say or do to stop it, man. Go ahead, bro. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish. Lost, man. We, and, you, you lost, bro. And the grasshopper shall be a bird, and the lion shall fail. Read that again, huh? Verse 5. And when they shall be afraid of that which is high, 
and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a bird, and the desire shall fail, because men grow going to his long home. Right, man. See, Amer America, though, when America shut down, man, while well, all the jobs cease, man, just like that, you got you you got the you got the white man come on the news and tell you it's gonna be a storm. Go buy this, buy that, and you run and do it, man. Believe in everything these people tell you, man. Because man goes to his long <laughs> home, and the mourners go about the street. He ain't white. He red. He the devil according to the Bible. He the wicked descendants of Esau, man. Go ahead. Wherever the silver cord be low. What? Hey, what the white man, what good have he done for your people? What make him so good to you? What make, what, what he done good for your people? We, that's what we doing now. We standing up for our people. How are you doing?
whose horns were girded with fine gold of Ufay. Right, so the Lord had on the golden, he got on the golden girdle, a golden belt. Because, yeah, that's what they like to say. Ain't nobody seen Jesus. Right. But Jesus was a musical man walking, right? The, the disciples seen him then. The people back then seen him, right? Have you ever seen George Washington? Yeah. But they got an image of him, right? Right. But I'm saying, I'm making a point. They got right. an image. The people, who, the people who back doing his time, they, they, they know how he looked, right? right? So they kept rep. They took pictures, they kept rep. So that, that process never changed. Ever since there was men on earth, men kept rep. And to the point to where the technology is now, when we can take a picture, I can take a picture right now, and a thousand years later, they can, if they keep up with that picture, they can show how it is. That's right. Well, hold on, what are we preaching again? Try to portray what you say that again? What are we preaching again? It's a non biblical image. You actually right? read it. You, you, right? you didn't just look at the sign. You, you read it. That on their, you know, people have that picture up in their house. Right. But some, a lot of them don't think about it. Right. right. And some of those people who have that picture, they still take the good and the actual word. Right. right. They take the actual word and they live by it. But that image is used. So they still. So used to distort. Perception, right? That's right. And that's what you guys are trying to say, essentially. Right, exactly. All right. Can I shake your hand? So you know, so you know what this. So right. Go ahead. Yeah. First thing. What you guys are doing? God bless. It's all good, bro. His body also was like the barrel, and his face had the appearance of lightning, and his eyes had left the fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. Right, man. So his arms and his feet like into color as polished brass, man. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. You do polished brass, like this penny ain't even like polished brass, man. Polished brass I almost do something like this, uh, this, this, this right here. You do the ancient image of polished brass, it'll go, it'll, it'll be like right there, the color of that handle, man. And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Right, because he had a deep voice, man. Go ahead. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. Right. For the men that were with me saw not the vision. You can stop right there, all right? And not only did he, did he have a deep voice, but he spoke loud and with authority. That's how he's supposed to speak when he was teaching his word with loud and authority, not speaking soft. What the uh, priest told us, don't worry about As I said, chapter 19, verse 17. The land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Verse 16. And that day shall Egypt be like unto women. Right, see, now Egypt being like unto women, man. Now everybody want to want to run and hide. Don't nobody want to deal with this truth, man. Everybody want to get emotional like a woman now, man. When the hardcore facts come out, man. When these when this hell of truth sweeping away, they, them lies, man. Go ahead. And they shall be afraid and fear. Because of the shaking of the hand of your house. So now everybody afraid and fear because of the shed, the, the shaking of the hand of the Lord. What up, bro? Huh? King, that's right, bro. You're gonna be king with kings and priests, bro. Go ahead. Oh, oh, which he shaken over. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. And the land of Judah is be it should be a terror unto Egypt, man. Go ahead, this uh. Modern day Egypt, man. We was a terror unto ancient Egypt, man. When the Lord started to shake his hand over ancient Egypt through Moses and Aaron, we became a terror unto them, man. So now we becoming a terror unto modern day Egypt, man. Go ahead, bro. Everyone that make it mention thereof shall be afraid of himself. Everyone that make it mention thereof shall be afraid of himself, man. Go ahead. Because of the counsel of your of hosts. Because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, man. Go ahead. Which he had determined against it. Which he had determined against this place, man. See, the counsel of the Lord is determined to destroy America, man. The land of homosexuals and dykes, man. Go ahead. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. We speak in the language of Canaan now, man. We getting our old language back, man. Go ahead. And swear. That's why we say, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his son, man. We speak in the land, the language of Canaan there, man. Go ahead. And Which is the Hebrew. Salaki, I'll go ahead. And swear to Yahweh hope 
one shall be called the city of destruction. And that day shall there be an altar to Yahweh in the midst of the land of Egypt. It's that altar right here, man. We represent that altar, man. What do you do on the altar? You send, you set, you made sacrifices to the Lord, man. We sending up spiritual sacrifices, man. Going to Daddy Peter, what you read earlier. First Peter. Get it, get that again, huh? Get on got something? Get Joel too when it says um, that the priest and the minister weep between the porch and the altar. Um, just get it real quick. I think it's verse 5. It's in first Peter chapter 2. Yeah. We have built up spiritual house, send up spiritual sacrifice. Look, see, look, hey, is Popo still getting on. Go ahead, uh. They think saw Popo, he got right there. He knew he, <laughs> he put it on the front. When we saw the Popo, he got it in order. Spirits. It's first Peter chapter 2, verse 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. Don't read that again. I Right, man. So one, 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 look, man. One game on Esau, man. We ain't tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? Esau owe you everything you got anyway. Don't let a gift destroy your heart, man. When white man give you something. Nah, he, nah, he, 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 he good to you, man. He owe you everything he got, man. That's the man friend you need to have. Everything he got, he exploited, extorted, and took it from you, man. Go ahead. Uh. First Peter chapter two, verse five. Ye, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. See, we lively stones, man. We we lively stones, man. A built up spiritual house, now, man. It's spiritual, now, man. So we send it, we, we, we spiritually sending those spiritual sacrifices so America can be destroyed, man. We're going to bring down this place spiritually first, man. Go ahead. A holy priesthood. A holy priesthood. To offer up spiritual sacrifices. To offer up spiritual sacrifices, man. This is what you see right now, man. We offer up spiritual sacrifices. It, it, we don't do the physical sacrifices no more, man. You make a sacrifice of righteousness toward the Lord, man. But now, these we doing this spiritual sacrifices we doing right now, man. You got Esau doing spiritual sacrifice on the left hand side as we doing them on the right hand as we doing them on the right hand side righteously, man. Right, and he doing physically too, man. But our physical sacrifice was made once and for all, man. When you have a laid itself down on the line for us, man. Our big brother, man. Go ahead, bro. Acceptable, acceptable to your how by your how Hamashiach. Right, go ahead. So this go this being accepted, the Lord accept this, man. Know why? How we speaking straight from his word, man. We're not making up no doctrine like the pastor's doing, man. We ain't coming up with our own religion, man. No, we speaking straight out the book, man. So this spiritual sacrifice we sitting up becoming a sweet smell to the Lord's nose, man. And to his ears. Go ahead, bro. Alright, this is uh, Joel. That's it, that's it. Uh, I, think, I, th I thought that was what you were uh, wanting. Yeah, that is. I, I just want to make sure it's it. Yeah, because we're going back to tell you how it's shot. Go ahead. This is Joel 2. I'm going to start at 16. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Oh, so this is what we set up to do, man. Right, we, we, what did the Lord say? Sanctify them through my word. Go ahead. Assemble the elders. Right. Gather the children. Right. And those that suck the breast. Those that suck the breast. That's who going to be gathered. The children. Those that suck the breast. Him that are weaned from the breast. Well, that you have say you must become as a child to receive this truth, man. Go ahead. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chamber, man. Which is, that's talking about who the word ignorant called Jesus Christ, man. Go ahead. Which is true name in the ancient Hebrew is Jehovah Shai. What up, bro? How you doing, bro? Go ahead. And the bride out of her closet. Now the bride is out of her closet. But the bridegroom had to go first, man, to unlock the seals of the book. 
So like I said, he became the ultimate sacrifice. We don't need a physical sacrifice no more, man. And now the seals of the book being broken, man. So now the bride is out of her closet, which is the, the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. Let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Go ahead. And let them say. And what they going to say. Spare thy people. This spiritual sacrifices we sending up. Spare thy people. O oh Lord. O oh Lord. You got to the end of that verse yet? Not yet. Go ahead. And give not thy heritage to reproach. Give not thy heritage to the reproach. So this is what we doing. We weeping between the porch and the altar. And this is what we saying. So it's letting you know the weeping is what is what we saying. Which the word weep goes into complain or cry. Go ahead. That the heathen should not that the heathen should rule, that the heathen should rule over them. Not where, no, that's, that's not in there. Okay. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their power? Right, man. So this is what the priest is in the minister supposed to be doing, man. But this is what that's what this is going into the altar being set up in Egypt. And like he just read, we said we sending up spiritual sacrifices, and this is what we supposed to be saying. Go ahead. Weeping between the porch and the altar, praying to the Most High, saying, Give not thy heritage to the heathen as a reproach. Go ahead. Then will the Lord be jealous for his land. This when the Lord going to be jealous for his land and for his people. When the, when, the, when the real ministers of the Lord start weeping and saying this, man, complaining, go ahead, uh, and pity his people. This when the Lord going to pity us and pity us, man. Some more to it. Yeah, the Lord will answer and say unto his people. Yeah, yeah, you had to read that. Yeah, the Lord will answer and say unto his people. Behold, I will send you corn. Who is the people of Jesus? The so-called Negro, Hispanic, Latino, and Native American Indians, nobody else. Those are the people who the Lord Jesus died for, nobody else. Go ahead, bro. That's who he coming back to save. Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil. The Lord going to send us corn, wine, and oil, which represents our prosperity, man. Go ahead. And you shall be satisfied therewith. We're going to be satisfied therewith. Go ahead. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. So the Lord said he ain't going to make us a reproach no more among the heathen, man. Go ahead. But I will remove far off from you the northern army. Stop right there, because that's going into prophecy of what's been, what's going on. We can keep going right there, but I'm just getting because that's going to the prophecy of what's going on right now over there. It's over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Go ahead. It's Isaiah chapter 42, verse 13. Oh yeah, hold it. Let's let's do it. She called me, 13 years old, dad, it's going to be this. I, the first thing I told her, I'm like, what you supposed to do? Pray. First thing, you pray to the Lord to protect you and your family, man. And pray that it, it, it did. Pray it don't happen. And look, it ain't happened, man. Stop listening to these people, man. This hell of lies is being wept, swept away as a refuge, man. He started to use that as a tactic now. Shit, you... you this one city we spend a spend a million dollars in one day on water and gas and gathering stuff just off of them saying that, man. Go ahead, huh? Go ahead, bro. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 19. Now if it would have happened, it would have happened. But you, 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 like I say, you take need of it. 
You look at the sky, man. You can look at the sky and tell, man. You, you know, you judge the weather, man. When our people knew how to do that. What the Lord say in, in the book, in the New Testament? He say, you know how to look at the sky and discern the weather and the time, but you know, you can't discern the judgment. Stop, because our people have been so conditioned to watch the weather channel, watch the white man, watch the weather. You watch the weather, but shit, you, you know, you, sometimes he be right, but a lot of times he be wrong. And then a lot of times you can pray and the most high shut it down, man. Go ahead. Huh? say something about that too. Now I was going to say that they can tamper with the weather too. Oh. So they can say it's going to be one way just to get you to spend money and then it don't even be that way. You know, they just make it sunny if they say it's going to storm. But then he probably tried to see it and the Lord will shut him down, man. Oh. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 19. Start at 17 again. Verse 17. Judah should be a, a terror. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto evil. Right. Go ahead. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid of himself because of the counsel of Yahweh of hope. Right, man. So this said there's a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment. But to him that let this word correct him and heal him, it's going to come glorious to you, man. It's going to come a glory and a die down. You gonna, this going to come good to you, man. It's going to come refreshing to you. It's going to start to rest in this, man. It's going to start to comfort you. Test, listen to what we saying. Stop listening to what everybody's telling you we saying. Go ahead. Huh? Which he had determined against it. Right. And that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. Huh. And swear to Yahweh hosts when shall be called the city of destruction. Right. And that day shall there be an altar to Yahweh in the midst of the land of Egypt. There go that altar again and it tell you where it's going to be now. So like he said, gather the people, the children, you know, they said let the let the um let the let the ministers and the priests weep between the porch and the altar. So now it's telling you where the altar gonna be. In Egypt. Go ahead. And a pillar at the border thereof to your house. And a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord, man. These altars to the Lord we setting up, man. Just like we had the ancient men of the Lord, man. You had Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Lord told them, go here, go there. When they went to that spot, what's the first thing they did? They set up an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice, man. Go ahead, bro. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto Yahweh of hosts. This is for a sign and a witness of the, the, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, man. The Lord, the real Lord of war, man. The white man ain't the God of war, man. He the God of wickedness, man. The Lord just gave him his sword as a blessing. He, the, his, his blessing was his sword, man. But the Lord controlled him, man. For a certain length of time, man. Like the Lord said, he mustered up the belt. Go ahead. In the land of Egypt. Right. For they shall cry unto Yahweh because of the oppressor. They, they said, oh, it's a lock it. He said, they should cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors. Let the priests and the ministers Weep between the altar. What they gonna cry? Just crying to read it yeah. from the top again. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto your house. See, host. this is for a sign and a witness unto the Lord, man. So won't nobody have no excuse, man. Won't nobody be able to say, Lord, I ain't know. I ain't know, Lord, that the white man wasn't gonna be saved. I ain't know, Lord, that the white man was gonna pay for everything he done against our people, man. I ain't know that the white man was going to reap what he sowed. Yes, he is. Thus said the Bible. The Lord going to restore his people, man. That's all we let our people know, man. Go ahead. In the land of Egypt, for they shall cry unto your house because of the oppression. We should cry unto the Lord because of the oppression, man. Go ahead. And he shall send them a Savior. And he going he to send us our Savior back, man. A great one, man. Go ahead. And he shall deliver them. And he gonna deliver us. And uh. Yahweh shall be known to Egypt and the Egyptians. Come. Shall know Yahweh in that day. Stop right there, huh? Go ahead, uh, go ahead. Huh? It's Isaiah chapter 42. Verse 13. I'm gonna start at verse, I'm gonna start at verse 8. 
Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, right. my elect, and whom my soul delighted. This is why we still here, man. Because we the servant of the Lord. These are people who he uphold, man. So this is why we still here. Matter of fact, uh-oh. When we get out the porch. They finish their lamentation. Then we're going to go with it. Lamentation chapter 2, verse 14. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. Come. And they have not discovered thine iniquity to turn away thy captivity. Right, man. But have seen for thee false burdens and causes of banishment. So what the press to see for you is false burdens and causes of you to stay in the captivity. That's what the word banishment means, man. So they're teaching you how to stay in captivity, man. Not discovering your iniquity to bring you out of captivity. Well, that's what the Lord set us up to do, man. Go ahead. Discovering our, our people iniquity, man. Go ahead. All that pass by clap their hands at thee, they right. hiss and wag their head at the door of Jerusalem. See, all the other nations pass by us. They like, look at them niggas, man. Like even in, um, in Ezekiel. 37th chapter, what did it say? It said their bones are dried up. Ain't no hope for them, man. That's what the heathens say, man. Go ahead. Also, they, they uh, shake their head at us and they uh, hiss at us, saying, you know, uh, basically looking at us like we're a disgrace. They call us an outcast. So this today all the other nations look for, man. Like Revelation 11 chapter say, say. They ain't allowed their bodies to be put in grave. They sent gifts one to another when they found and seen they had us consumed, man. But now that life ain't entered into us, and now the flip side to it, what it say? It's gonna make them afraid. It's because this is an exceeding the great army you see it, man. It's a house of David being um, being standing back up, man. What, what in the scripture we read earlier, what did he say? Our breach is like to see. What did the Lord say? He's going to close that breach. He's going to close that breach. Um, and he's going to close that breach amongst the house of David, man. Go ahead. And how will have done that which he had devised? He has fulfilled his word. Right. And he commanded in the days of old. Right. He has thrown down and has not pitied. Right. He has called that enemy to rejoice over thee. Stop it. The first, right? He has set up the horn of thine adversary. So he set up the powers of our adversary, man. So he done it, man. So now it's all about discovering our iniquity. Turn back our captivity, man. Go ahead. Get it, go ahead though, go ahead, bro. There's some more to it, I know it is. Isaiah 42, verse 1. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my elect, and whom my soul delighted. So it's talking about all these people, but right now it's going into the elect, man. That's who the Lord is going to uphold. That's who we endure all things for the elect's sake, man. Go ahead. So get out of your mind, Frank. You come to this truth. It's all about it doing everything. A lot of stuff you endure, you might have to endure something for another brother can't go through. 
But you endure our life, Paul said. We endure all things for the elect saints, man. Go ahead. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Right. So now we bring forth judgment, man, to our people, man, who, who's in that Gentile state of man. Like 1 Corinthians 12 say, you were once Gentiles giving away to these dumb idols, man. Go ahead. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets. Good. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoky flax shall he not quench. So when you have a shot came, a bruised weed, reed, he didn't break, man. So all our people that was in that low state of man, man, he didn't, he didn't handle them like the, um, like, I, like, the, like, the, like the leaders of our people were, man. He comforted them. That's what we doing, man. We a bruised reed, we ain't going to flex, man. Go ahead. Somebody, you ain't going to kick nobody when they down, man. That ain't what we here to do, man. We here to, we here to restore our people, uplift our people, man. Refresh them, man. Go ahead. He shall bring forth judgment unto the truth. And that's what your house shot did. He brought forth judgment unto the truth. And that's what his men gonna do. We bring forth judgment unto the truth. Go ahead. He shall not fail nor be discouraged. Right. Till he has set judgment in the earth. And he didn't, man. He didn't fail or be discouraged, man. Even when he wanted to, even when he wanted them cup to be turned away, he said, let that will be done, Father. The heavenly Father had the holy angels strengthening him so that he can go through with his mission. Just like he doing with us, man. Serving our greater than his master, man. The heavenly Father got the angels right now strengthening us through whatever, whatever we got to go through, man. Go ahead. And we using these scriptures, uh, scriptures to uh, comfort us. You know, the scriptures say, uh, remember Job. You know, remember the tribulation that Job went through. You remember how his faith was still in the Lord. So that's how you got to be. No, it's not saying that you're not going to go through tribulation, but you got to be strengthened through the word. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he has set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. He shall not fail nor be discouraged. He shall not fail nor be discouraged, man. So the men of the Lord ain't going to fail or be discouraged, man. What Jeremiah 1 say, man? Be not afraid of their faces, man. Make your face hard against those, else the Lord gonna confound you, man. Go ahead. Till he has set judgment in the earth. Till we set judgment back in the earth, baby. Go ahead. And the owls shall wait for his law. And the owls waiting for his law now. That's why you see it. He let me pop up on the four corners of the world. All in the islands, man. Dominicans, man. West Indies, man. Go ahead. Many more places, man. Thus saith the Lord. Right. He, have, he that created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it. He that gave a breath unto the people unto it. And spirit to them that walk therein. I, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness. Right. And so, will, so the Lord called us in righteousness, man. Go ahead. And will hold thine hand and will keep thee. And give thee for a covenant and the people for a light of the Gentiles. Right, man. Go ahead. To open the blind eyes. To bring out the prisoners from the prison. To bring out the prisoners from the prisons, man. Go and, ahead. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. What's that? Because if you, this through chains of darkness right here, man. You know? This the chains of darkness right here. Them that sit, you, you not knowing the truth, read that again. To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison. Right. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Go ahead. I, Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to graven images. The Lord said he's not going to give his glory to another, man. What's this talking about? Get it real quick, I believe. So if the Lord said he's not going to give his glory to another, that is for you, Jake. Go ahead. Now we had a Jake right there talking about the white man's good. He ain't done nothing. Behold! Uh -huh. 
chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of your house. Right. This is the book of the commandments of the heavenly Father, man. And the law that endures forever. Our law endure forever. The earth is going to be governed by the law, statutes, and commandments, man. The law of state, you're going to be given the body with the law of statutes and commandments in your inward parts, man. Go ahead. All they that keep it shall come to life. All they that keep it going to come to life. But such as leave it shall die. Come, go ahead. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Walk right. in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. That thou mayest be illuminated, man. This is what is enlightened you right here. When you start to keep the law of statutes and commandments, the law that endure forever, then you start to see, man. You start to see in darkness now. You can see in this dark place now, man. Because America is a prison house within itself, man. This is a dark place, man. But once you keep the law, statutes, and commandments, you become a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Now you, now you learn how to walk. And, 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 and this ain't none of that Mason bullshit, man. Now, tell me about now you coming into the light. You coming to dark. Now you coming into the light, man. Nah, you're going into the light of the wicked when you become a mason. Because the wicked have a light too. That's why the scripture said the light of the wicked shall be put out, man. The light of the righteous never goes out, man. Never going to be put out, man. Go ahead, bro. Give not thy honor to another. Give not thy honor to another. Nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. So don't give nothing that's profitable unto you to a strange nation. But that's what the Lord means. He's not going to give his glory. The Lord said he's going to give his glory to another. How you going to try to give the Lord's glory to somebody else? Just like Jake. Always trying to give somebody else something that ain't theirs, man. You give Jake something that he done gave to somebody. He's like, where my shit at, B? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I gave, that's Jake, though, man. But I ain't, I'm just, just making an example of physical terms. I ain't comparing it to, 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 to the, but, but the Lord know how Jake is, man. So we're going to talk straight forth how it is, man. Go ahead. Oh, Israel, happy are we. Happy are we. The things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us. See, so happy. So things that are, that are pleasing to the Lord were made known unto us, man. So it went for you to go give it to another nation, man. In the, in the kingdom, don't worry. You're going to have a thousand years to give it to him. It ain't for him right now. In the kingdom, you're going to have a thousand years to give it to him, man. It's going to be with foot sweeps and round houses and everything else, man. Lord said he didn't give his uh, glory to another nation. He didn't give his laws and commandments to another nation other than Jacob. Go oh, ahead, yeah, huh? Stop right Hold it right there. Man. Oh, me? Yeah. Get, read that again when it says that he's not giving glory to another nation. Uh, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. I, I am uh, the Lord, Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another. Right, so the Lord said he ain't going to give his glory to another. He told us don't give it, don't give, don't give by don't give his glory to another, man. Go ahead. Neither my praise to graven images. Right. Behold. This is a graven image right here, man. Nor his praise to a graven image, man. Go ahead. Neither, uh, behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Come. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Right. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise from the end of the earth. We're singing unto the Lord a new song, man, as if it were a new song. Go ahead. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Right, the isles, all the islands, man. So this word going out to the four corners of the earth, man. Go Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice. Right. The villages that Kedar do up inhabit, let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Come. Let them shout from the top of the mountain. Let so it don't matter where they elect that, man. You part of the elect, you're going to be sealed up, man. You can be in a wilderness somewhere by yourself. You done got, you done got isolated from, uh, from humanity, man. And you just been stuck, but the Lord been preserving you, man. It don't matter. His word going to come find you and seal you up, man. Go ahead, bro. Right, your brother say, locked up in one of these prison houses, man. Esau got you, he had you in solitary for famine for the last 10 years, man. Verse 12. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. 
He should stir up jealousy like a man of war. Right, so like the scripture says, the Lord should go forth as a mighty man, man. He gonna stir up jealousy. Take that out, bro. They, they can see the sand. Let him get it out.